in. Yep. Okay. All right. So the it's called uh, it's a new project I'm just starting. It's called One Minute Inspiration with Chris Love, and that's myself. And then the goal is to um, build a rapport with community leaders and representatives, and also especially in this challenging time to also build a strong network of united community to inspire the the other people in the community, the young ones like myself coming up, and also some other people maybe somehow discouraged and um, maybe um, hearing from people like yourself will give, um, bring a, a lot of hope and inspiration, I, I believe, to them. So that's why um, I reach out to you. And um, it's, well, I was I was shocked when you just responded like, oh, this week works. I was like, okay. <laughs> so thank you so much um, for taking that time. Um, even the short notice even to provide this, um, interview. So um, the first question I'm going to ask you be, um, so I have like four questions. Um, okay. <laughs> so the first question is, who are you? So that's the first question is, um, who are you? Just who am I? <laughs> that's, that's it, eh? <laughs> yeah. Yes, a little introduction of yourself. Yeah. Well, I'm uh... I'm a lifelong Christian. I, uh, I uh, born the son of uh, immigrants uh, to Canada and um, I'm the youngest of six children. I uh, spent uh, first 20 some years of my life uh, learning a lot of things and uh, got married. I've had six beautiful children yeah. in uh, age range from four till 22 with my wife, Joanne. Yeah. Uh, professionally, I studied computer science, and I'm, I was a programmer, and now I'm a politician, which is a very <laughs> strange segue for a computer programmer. <laughs> that's, that's okay. That's so good. And I know, I know one really fascinating thing about your children is that they all their names start with particular letter. I'm not so. How is that? <laughs> so. Um, so the, the next question is, how did you start? Sorry, how did I? How did you start in the-, in the... Uh, Our connection's a little bumpy. So could you repeat that? Um, how did you start? How did I start what? Like uh, the, the politics, what in your career? Politics? Oh, yeah, in politics, yeah. Yeah, um, I've always, I have always, uh, sorry, uh, I've always served uh, in my church community and, and uh, uh, often led as part of that service. Mm -hmm. um, the company that I worked at, uh, it sold that company. And so I knew I wasn't going to work there much longer. Mm -hmm. And so I did need to find something new to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and my, um, um, quite a few of my friends and uh and relatives suggested that I would be good at serving in politics. They wanted, they wanted uh, Christian men. They wanted somebody with uh, with integrity to be serving, and uh, and they thought that that would be that would be me. So I, uh, you know, prayed about it, talked about it with my family, with my wife, and decided to try. And uh, honestly, at first, I didn't think I expected to win. <laughs> so, so part of me said, well, you know, it's only, it's only uh, a year or whatever, you just try it. And, uh, and then if it doesn't work, you go do something else, right. But, uh, but God blessed it. And, uh, and I was able to, to serve and I've since won re-election uh, again. So I continue. That's a good, wow. That's, that's amazing that um, we just started it, not even preparing to win. And and I think one of the things that is important is that you have been serving before that time, even though not in this particular position, but you've been in, in leading the community or uh, helping out even from your local church, which is very important for us that we have to start somewhere, right? Uh, before the opportunity, God gives us opportunity for the bigger spotlight. We have to start serving and building our, ourselves. That, that's so good. Thanks for sharing that. Um, so the next question will be, what is keeping you going when there is challenges? I know these days um, of COVID-19 has been a lot of, um, I, I follow the news and I look at the Twitter, it's been a lot of 
um, things coming up, especially for, for you people that are at the provincial level. So what is keeping you going despite all the challenges and, and, and hard times? Yeah, I'm, I'm always a, a believer that you should, um, um, you should walk through the doors that God opens for you instead of gazing longingly out the windows. Um, and so the door is open, so I work and, uh, and I do the work faithfully. I know that um, um, I'm not doing the work to please uh, people. First and foremost, I do the work to, to, uh, to, to please God and to, and to serve him. So that's where I look for my uh, rock, for my, for my anchor, and, uh, and for my evaluation. If people like me or don't like me is less important um, uh, to me. And that uh, that certainly helps. And I also always try to keep uh, an eternal perspective, right? Is that this, uh, these are light and momentary troubles that, um, that we experience in this life. And I count it all joy to suffer. Um, if, if suffering is what God wants, uh, wants for me, that's okay. And so uh, I, I trust that he, he knows what he's doing. So for me, that's, uh, that's the, the principle. And then I think also God makes sure that I get um, regular encouragement from fellow believers. So especially, for instance, this week has been a very difficult uh, week. And uh, I, I've lost count of how many uh, believers have reached out to me and said that uh, they are praying for me or that they were thinking about me or that they uh, hold up my family in prayer and, uh, and, and to even ask if there's anything they can do or to, to see if I need any other encouragement. So that's, that's a beautiful thing. And I, I think that's God uh, knowing, knowing what his servant needs um, <laughs> to do his work. Yeah. Right. That's, that's so good. Thank you so much for sharing that. Um, the the third um, plays important role in, in what you do. And, and that's, that's really important to us, even for me as a Christian too, that anything I'm doing, I'm not just doing to please people, but I'm doing ultimately to please God, that's number one. And also encouragement from, uh, from brothers and sisters around too. That's, that's really good. Um, that's good to know. And thank you for, um, I really appreciate it. If you notice, I follow your, I follow your things. So I really appreciate what you're doing daily. And I know it's quite challenging. And, and um, I pray that God continue to strengthen you. Um, the last question is, um, what is your next goal? <laughs> if there's, if what there's is my next, um, next goal or ambition, if there's, yeah. Next goal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, like I said before, I, I walk through the doors that open. So I, um, I don't really think about life in that way mm -hmm. um, in terms of goals. Um, that I'm that I'm trying to achieve. It's it's I'm a little bit of a funny, funny duck that way that I do. <laughs> um, I've been very successful, but I never really set out to do that, to do any of that. Um, but I just you know you work hard and then uh, you look for opportunities to serve. So I keep looking for opportunities to serve. Um, realistically, sometime uh, probably in the next few years, I may have an opportunity to serve in cabinet as a cabinet minister. I think that would be reasonable. I don't expect it necessarily, but I certainly have to think that it might come, right? And so, uh, so I try to prepare for that and try to be uh, um, to behave in a way that would be that would be suitable, right? For uh, for someone who is uh, is performing those functions. So, um, but otherwise, I just I happily put one step in front of the other. Um, I'm okay if if uh, God says, "Well done, good and faithful servant," you may now. Rest. That's okay too. <laughs> wow. So that's um, yeah. Wow. Thank you so much for sharing that. You know, and that's that's really eye opening for me because I know for us we are more surrounded about oh I want to in the next two days, two weeks, uh, two years I want to do this, I want to do that. Um, but, um, one of the things that especially this COVID season has taught us is that um, it's not this is not really how we plan. Maybe that's taught me, especially, and, and get to understand that it's not really what I plan to achieve, but what God um, wants. And that does not mean that I'm not going to be preparing for the opportunities that I, I, I am hemming at, but also to put everything ultimately to the hand of God that is one that takes care of everything eventually. So 
that that's that's mm. um, well, thank you for it, yeah that. it's important to, it's important to it's very important to work diligently and faithfully and to have a direction and a, and a sense of purpose that's very important uh, but at the same time to recognize that these things are ultimately not in your control you can do what you uh, what's in your control and you can you can work as best you can mm -hmm. and God may may choose to uh, to reward that with the goal that you had in mind mm -hmm. or he may use that for some other reason that you don't even understand or have a sense of yet mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's so good thank you so much um, let me not take much of it for your time that's all for my question if you have any final thoughts or anything to to say any remark or anything <laughs> no i just uh thanks for reaching out i appreciate the the time to talk and to share at all times and uh and i think continue to uh to pray for your government and, and for elected officials whether they are believers or not um uh, the world is in the hands of god and uh and whether the leaders recognize it <laughs> why guys i'm on the phone uh whether the uh whether the um uh, the elected officials recognize that their that their heart ultimately is in God's control. Um, uh, ultimately, it is, and so it's important for us to to, uh, to humble ourselves, to pray, and to expect uh, all good things from God. So much, and I pray that God will continue to guide and strengthen you in Jesus' name. Thank you very much, James. It's good talking to you. <laughs> that, Thanks, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thank you.